really is one of the largest investments in housing um, that I think the state has seen in recent years. Well, the 30-day legislative session may be over, but we're still keeping track of the bills that make it out of the governor's office with a signature. One of them aims to make building affordable housing easier across our state. Spencer Schott spoke with the bill's sponsor today. So Spencer, how do they expect it to help our statewide housing shortage? Well, Julie, House Bill 195 creates the Housing Development Fund. And now this fund dedicates more than $100 million to help developers and builders put in the infrastructure they need before they can start building more housing. Across town, you can see a handful of construction projects putting up new houses or apartments. But state lawmakers say we're still coming up short for how much housing our state really needs. That's where House Bill 195 comes in. It creates the Housing Development Fund, dedicating $125 million to housing projects across New Mexico. What this bill does is it sets up a revolving loan fund that municipalities and um, Folks that are building not only affordable housing, but also workforce housing, um, that they can tap into these funds to help them with the infrastructure for the housing developments. This money will go towards building out roads and sidewalks and even connecting new developments to utility lines like water and electric. We spent the interim last year um, talking to other states, talking with folks in state to get a better sense of what tools could we use to move the needle to make sure that there was uh, more of an available supply of housing in New Mexico? Dixon says she hopes this fund will lead to new housing sooner rather than later. Obviously, it'll take a little bit of time for things to get moving, but I really hope that New Mexicans see progress, you know, this year. Governor Michelle Lujan Grisham has not signed this bill into law just yet, but has voiced her support for the bill early on in the session. But HB 195 wasn't the only housing initiative we saw up in the Roundhouse this year. For example, the state budget also includes $50 million for the State Housing Trust Fund, $10 million for transitional housing for domestic violence victims, and hundreds of thousands of dollars to support homeless shelters all across the state. And all of that money is a part of HB 2 also known more regularly as the state budget, which the governor hasn't put her final stamp on approval just yet on that either. All right, Spencer, a lot of funding on the table, that's for sure. So we'll see what makes it through. And we know those are just a few of the 72 bills the governor has to either sign or veto by March 20th. So still a lot of progress to come. Spencer, thank you.